welcome back to the painting coach and in this video i'll show you how to paint those terrible traitors who started it all the word bearers okay let's get moving with this word bearer so in order to uh make things a little easier i primed in lead belcher now if you haven't got lead belcher spray it's no problem just spray it black or whatever color you got and then paint lead belcher over it and the first color we're going to start with is a little bit of corn red now i thinned this down uh, because i'm coming to the end of my pot so it's a little a little thicker um than perhaps i'd like and what we're looking to do is we're just looking to paint all the armor panels and we're looking to leave the silver trim uh intact so just take your time when you get round to it now if you accidentally catch some of it that's that's no problem you can just go back and touch it up uh, with lead belcher so paint all the armor with this dark corn red uh, and then before we come to the next step if you do make any mistakes make sure you tidy it up and you can see there that because mine's quite thin it's going to need a couple of coats just to reinforce uh, where where that's kind of not covering the lead belcher and then we'll come back and uh, we'll shade the trim and the, the red next. So I've got a nice coat of corn red on there. I've gone through and I've tidied up most of the lead belcher. So what we're going to do next is we're going to just take some null oil and we're literally going to shade the entire model. So everything. So get it into those recesses. We don't want it to pool uh, too much, but we do want to make sure everything's got a shade uh, on it. We're just working on so all the red armor, all the silver, ev absolutely everything. Uh, and the reason is why I'm saying to do absolutely everything because because of the shiny surface of the metal paint, it does make it difficult sometimes for uh, other colors and certainly some of the colors we're going to use today uh, to stick. So we're literally just working our way around covering everything with null oil. So as usual with the null oil step there's not a huge amount for you to see uh, so i will let you crack on with this and we'll come back when it's totally dry once we're happy that the null oil is dry we'll just highlight the silver and the color we're going to use for this is chrome from vallejo model air and as ever i'm not thinning it down because it's thin enough it's designed to go through an airbrush so really what we're looking to do is we're looking to uh, catch as many sharp edges as we can just like that and you can see that's given a really uh, instant nice edge so all this kind of silver armor where you where you can do that uh, make sure that you uh, you go around and do it the other thing we want to uh, do as well is we want to make sure we're in shot and in focus we just want to highlight the kind of the metal ribbon that's going across here as well uh, and obviously all any other bits that are kind of silver catch as much as you can with the uh, with the uh, edge of the brush just like that so just work your way around get all that done it'll be nice and shiny silver and we'll come back and have a look at some of the more uh, some of the ribbon and the black parts next next up we'll just um, look to do some of the the ribbing and the tubing so the color I use this is black templar I'm gonna make sure I haven't got too much on my brush uh, well, I'm just gonna paint it in over um, the ribbed areas there just to get a bit of depth uh, and i'm going to do this kind of on because there's quite a few areas on on the model so this bit here for example just being careful not to go over um over the bits we've already finished and that'll give us a nice uh, a nice sort of automatically highlighted part uh, the other thing i want to do with it as well is just some of the um some of the tubes and the pipes and everything like that because again it gives us that automatically highlighted effect so just work your way around the model doing bits and pieces like that and then we'll come back and we'll get onto the the black paint once we've got that uh, black templar done and we're happy that it's dry the next thing we're going to do is take some abad and black uh, now i put a little bit of water in to thin this down again because i've not got uh, a new pot i've got the coming towards the end of a pot so what we want to do is you want to do this uh, bit of loin cloth that we've got coming down here so it's covering okay uh, but I'm probably just going to go in and give mine a second coat once it's dry so we've got the loin cloth I want to paint the holster 
for the pistol as well. And you can see that it's uh, it's a bit thin, so I'm gonna have to put a, a second coat on it. And also the uh, the gun casing here, the bolt gun. Just get in a position where I'm comfy, and you can actually see what I'm doing. Just like that, nice and straightforward. Careful not to paint over anything you've finished. So get that done. If you need to put a second coat on, get it sorted. Then we'll come back and we'll highlight all that next. To highlight all that black, we're going to use Mechanica Standard Grey. So I've thinned it down a little bit on the palette. Not a huge amount. Um, and really what we're looking to do is just catch the edges. Just give it a, a nice kind of subtle highlight. We don't want it to be too too big and too stark. So just take your time and, and, and work it along. The kind of the raised areas on the cloth when it comes to the bulk gun we can go back to the uh make sure i focus uh the old faithful method where we just run the brush along the edges and we get a nice nice kind of crisp highlight there so work your way around all the black same for the holster you can just use the edges there and then when we come back uh, we'll have a go at the uh the brown leather for the brown leather, so this is just really for the, the kind of the straps um, or, and the belt. Uh, I'm going to use dried bark as a base. So again, nice and straightforward, just painting over uh, the belt area. And then we've got the straps on the holster here, holding it all on. And just be careful when you get into it so that you don't go over anything already painted of course there's no such thing as any as unrecoverable you can recover absolutely anything so just uh, work your way around doing that I'm also going to paint these horns with the dried bark as well and that's just to make uh, basing them a little bit easier uh, going over the brown rather than the silver so get that done and we'll highlight it all next highlighting the leather is easy just a little bit of gothal brown and we're just going to all of the same thing that we've been doing all the way along where we're just looking to catch the kind of the raised areas so when it comes to the straps here again just a good point on your brush just to kind of highlight along those and that'll give you that nice differentiation between there so just go around and all make sure you do that and we'll do a little bit of gold next for the gold, if you've seen some of my other videos uh, where I've done this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Nasdreg Yellow Contrast Paint. And I'm going to paint this over all the bits that I want to be gold. So it's going over the silver metallic. And you can see there that without any effort at all, I've got a half decent looking gold colour. So work your way around the model. I'm going to do the kind of the knife handle. Have a look at any bits that you want to be gold. Try and differentiate... Um, some parts of it where you've got lots of silver like this uh, chaos charm here and then let that dry and we'll come back in and uh, we'll have a look at kind of the bone work next and the eye on the shoulder pad whilst that nasdreg yellow is drying we'll base up uh, some of these areas so we've got the uh, horns on the head and we've got the eye on the shoulder and there's also lots of kind of bits of horn and teeth and, and things like that growing out of some parts of the armour. So I'm using wraith bone and I'm just going to work my way around and you can see it's not covering fantastically uh, in one coat. So we'll give it two, let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll uh, we'll uh, shade it and put some contrast paint in there next. When that wraith bone's dry we're going to put some skeleton horde over the horns and all the kind of the teeth uh, parts and we're going to put it on not hugely thickly but just enough so it gets there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that dry. And when it's dry, uh, I'm going to put some more on, but it's going to be towards the tips. So let it dry and then put a second coat on towards the tips. And if you want a third coat right on the end, just to get that darkness on the horns. So we want to add some texture back into those horns and it's easy to, enough to do with a little bit of wraith bone. And I've already done it on this horn here. And all we're looking to do is just with the tip of our brush, just paint down covering off those uh, lines that are already sculpted on the hole 
So that's the, the front. Make sure you do it on the back side as well and on all the little bits of teeth we've done. Uh, and we'll do the red armor next before we finish up with the eyes. So coming back to the armor, we're going back to corn red to start with. Now it's important here we don't have too much on our brush. So if you if it helps, then just rub it on some tissue before you go back to the model. And what we're looking to do is we're just looking to catch uh, the red just in kind of rough areas. So those parts uh, where we know that uh, the model's in light. And what we'll do is when that dries, it should blend down quite nicely into the, the kind of the darker red that we've got underneath. So work your way around the model, getting that done, and then we'll come back and we'll give it a little highlight next. Let's put some life into this red armor then. Uh, and the color we're going to use to start that process is a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet, which is a much brighter red than the corn red underneath. And what we're looking to do is we're just looking to catch as many edges as we can, so nice and easy with the fingers there. Uh, and kind of on the, the arm, the elbow joint, it's nice and simple. Now what we want to look to do where we've got trim, such as on the leg, is we just want to leave the dark shadow uh, next to that silver, but we just want to move the, the Evil Sun Scarlet around just to help us create a little bit of an inner highlight, just like that. So work your way around the model, getting that done, and I will come back just to put a little sharper highlight, and that's the armour done with just the eyes to go. We're going to pop a little bit of an extreme highlight on there now, and the colour we're going to use that is Kiss Left Flesh, which as you can see on the palette is a totally different colour to red. And all we're looking to do with it is just pop it on those kind of sharpest corners, just like that. And you can see it just, just adds a little bit of pop to the armor and we're going to use this very very sparingly so work your way around the model find those sharp sharp edges and then pop a little bit of kids left flesh in there and then we'll come back and do the eyes let's make moves to finish up this model then now that we've got that sharper highlight you can see we've got some nice red transitions across the model there so the colour we're going to use now is some white scar. Now I've not thinned this down because mine is uh, very thin as it is. And what we're going to do with the white scar is we're going to pop it in the eye. It's quite difficult to do on cam to make sure that you can see what I'm doing and I can see everything. Uh, and also we've got this eye on the, um, on the shoulder pad here which we're just going to give a little bit of the top part of uh, white scar to. I'm going to paint the other eye off screen. And then we'll come back and we'll just um, we'll make them we'll probably color them green as a nice contrast to the red. The color we're going to use is uh, for the eyes and that eye on the shoulder pad. And if you've got eyes on the other part of the model, is warp lightning, contrast paint. And all we're going to do is we're just going to paint it in there. And you can see it gives a nice glow effect uh, on the eyes. You can give them a little dot uh, of green if you want to. And then for the shoulder, exactly the same thing. Just cover it there with that warp lightning. That might need a second coat on the bottom just to darken it. Uh, but get that done and your word bearer is finished. Let's have a look at him on the table next. So there we have it. This word bearer is done and he's ready for action on the tabletop. I really hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a like and a comment down below. It really does help the channel and it really does help me make sure I'm producing the content that you guys want to see. If you would like to support me and the channel, you can do so using the links in the description. There's a link for my Patreon where you get exclusive access to me, a Discord, and a monthly live frequently asked questions video. There's also the Goblin Gaming link where you can get up to 20% of all your wargaming needs, as well as my Amazon recommended products list. If you do use those links, I do get a small kickback, but it doesn't cost you anything additional. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.